know if you can hear it or not. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> we'll just continue and find out if, if we fix Spockus or not. I think it was because I went down the wrong path to try to do it by myself. Well, that's fine. We hopefully reset the broken spots. Spock, why are you doing that? Captain, life's a... So, how do you two know each other? We were classmates back on Vulcan. Just classmates. I realize this may be difficult for you to understand, Captain, but on Vulcan, relationships between the sexes do not automatically apply into the past. Another reason I'm glad I'm not a Vulcan. I've got my new law, Captain. Ready and I thought that sun thing blew up.
I'm a I'm a Kirk. Naughty boy, you. <laughs> Dust it off like nothing happened. Are you alright, Captain? Definitely better now, thanks. Captain, we have a problem. <sighs> Another one? What is it, Mr. Chekhov? I, I finally I figured out how to get rid of my Russian so. accent. <laughs> Our simple solar flare should not have caused the loss of power to your station. Do you know the origin of the vessel's malfunction? He did not know function. Uh, didn't appear that way to us. That station was used to harness the energy from the binary stars. However, all of the station's primary controls were operated from a base located on a nearby planet. What planet? We are calling it New Vulcan. So it is true. <clears throat> Spock, as you know, after the destruction of Vulcan, we have been searching for a suitable planet to rebuild our race. New Vulcan seemed perfect. However, a project of this magnitude would have taken generations to complete. In order to speed up this process, we created a device called the Helios machine. Your station was to harness the energy from the binary stars to power the Helios machine located on New Vulcan. Precisely. Two days ago, and for some unknown reason, the power to our station was shut off. Without power, our station could not withstand the gravitational pull of the stars. What moron would shut down the machine if they knew this would happen? That moron would be Sirach. Never heard of him. Sirach is Tamar's father, and a great mentor to myself and the Vulcan people. Yeah. Sorry? <laughs> Why would Sirach shut down the power to your station? Johnny, I must have been aware that doing so would be catastrophic for you and your crew. Unfortunately, the Helios machine may have caused an anomaly. An anomaly. Just keeps, just keeps getting better. We need to get to the bridge. Chekhov, tell me something. It is highly unusual, sir, but I believe it's some kind of rip in the actual fabric of space. Like a wormhole? Something like that, sir. It appears to be a shortcut through space. Where does it lead? There is no way to know for sure, Commander. I believe that rip is the reason my father ordered the Helios machine to be shut down. Then we need to talk to him right away. Lieutenant Ahura Helmu Vulcan. Hi, Captain. It is no use, Captain. We lost communication with them when the Helios machine was shut down. Captain, scans indicate the reap is contracting. At the current rate, it will be gone in approximately 12 hours. Good. The fewer anomalies we have to deal with, the better. Captain, no response to our hands. I must request permission to join you, Captain. Spock, are you sure that's within protocol? I mean, maybe we should just send Scotty and some recruits. Captain, I hope the importance of New Vulcan is not lost on you. Our people cannot afford another tragedy. This planet is the best hope for our race to prosper. Noted. Then you should also note that having a Vulcan as a member of your away team would be essential to the success of this mission. And I am the only one on this ship that has ever been on the surface of New Vulcan or has experience with the Helios. All right, all right. All right. Great. Now there's two of you guys driving me nuts. Woohoo! <laughs> Party time in the book. Transport ready, Captain. My phaser, Mr. Scott. <laughs> Scotty, beam me down. Member Spockus, you are my body shield. Any further out, and I'd be back in Iowa, Mr. Scott. Sorry, sir. Too much interference. I had to draw you outside. I think you're supposed to be waiting for her. Negative, Captain. Looking for poop. For some reason, the highest security protocols have been enabled on this door. Can you hack it? Possibly, but you will have to work together to beat the encryption.
Captain, the system seemed to have been purposely shut down. I can provide assistance. Tamar, can you operate all the systems from here? Yes, I helped build and design. Captain, if you are implying that I should stay behind... Tamar, we may need oh, your technical slightly. assistance should things get unfriendly, unpredictable. But my father... When we find him, he'll be the first to know. I will remain in constant contact. Thank you. Captain, shall we proceed? After you. Nope, just after me. I believe we have a problem. Really? You can't make that jump. Yes, he can, because he's a Vulcan. They are dead. No. That did not just happen. Fuck. What did I tell you about stating the obvious, Buckus? First, you don't shoot. Did you see that? I did. Crap. Shit. Did he go? Stay the obvious. Yeah, you're ugly. You're ugly. You're not Spock. That guy was right in the head. <laughs> I am relieved we were able to spare that individual's life. Me right. too, let's keep it that way. Stun only from this point out. Oh yeah. Bottom line. But I don't want to use stun. I don't like Remember, it fast. Yes, fast. Yes. Stuck. Another disturbed individual. Get him. gotta take him out, but remember, stun only. Hey. I would not have it any other way. Boss, you man. This door is locked tight. We need a code. A mind meld may be our only chance to find out what has happened. Are you sure you want to touch that guy? A mind meld is our only option. Ooh. Boing. Anything? I, don't touch him. I have never encountered this before. His mind has been corrupted. Also, I now know the code to that door. Enterprise, we have injured. Prepare to transport. Aye, sir. Everything all right? Yeah, just some Vulcan problems. So, the usual. So. <laughs> Captain, I am detecting several Vulcans behind this door, but their readings are erratic. May I suggest setting our phasers to stun? After all, they are Vulcans. Nah. Shoot to kill Spock. Shoot to kill <laughs> Let's find the Ciroc guy and get the hell out of here. Officer, quickly, come in. Osevensu. Spock. Sirak, I am relieved to see you unharmed. This is my commanding officer, Captain Kirk. Captain, this is Sirak. Pleasure. And Jama. I am here, Father. Jama, I am pleased to hear your voice. Now what the hell is going on down there? We have been attacked. Creatures of an unknown origin. They emerged from the rip not long after it appeared. What creatures? We have only been able to decipher that they call themselves the Gorn. Spock, we cannot allow the power of the Helios machine to fall into their hands. It would be catastrophic. How do they be after the machine? They could use it to create rips anywhere in the universe. It would be able to attack without warning. Where's the machine now? Further underground, in the colony's deepest labs. I have secured all entries into the lab to prevent the device from falling into hostile hands. Tamar, are you able to provide additional assistance? 
I can open the fire door that leads further into the labs. After that point, I will no longer be able to assist them. Your guidance is all we ask. Then I advise caution. There are likely to be more infected Vulcans up ahead. Got it. We'll force it open. Your success is unlikely. The structure of this door is designed for containment. It may be possible to restore power using a spare power cell. Already on it. Locations the power cells on your tricorders. If we move quietly and maintain a low profile, we should avoid detection. Captain, if you must dispatch them, please be merciful. Understood. Stuck. Crouching look. You should be on the duck. Yeah. Keypad lock, Spock. As far from the neighboring systems as possible. That distance gives us a measure of protection as our colony grows. But Spock does not know about the Helios device. We need its power to terraform the planet. But I know that Spock would oppose us using such an unproven and dangerous technology. We have been able to no, keep the existence of Helios a secret from all but a select few. I can only hope it stays that way. Stay down. Don't let them see you. for those things. Nothing. I think one of us can get behind that guy and take him out before he notices. Most certainly, our Starfleet training has prepared us for this moment. Dr. McCoy, have you been able to ascertain the nature of the Vulcan's infection? Lost them. 
It appears we are now completely on our own. Some sort of a virus that you can scan. I chopped him in a spot where I can't scan him. is alarming.
looks a lot better with Fox actually functioning. I don't know. Every time he uh, does something he's not supposed to, I'm going to tell him he sparked it up. Ugly chairs, too. Get a move!
You're an ugly lizard. You're ugly. Hang on, gotta heal Spockus. Not appear to be answering, Captain. Oh, no. Yes. Gotta get that device back. Tomorrow, do you know where they went? Difficult to tell, but it appears that they are taking it towards the surface. <sighs> we'll never catch them. Captain, if I restore power to the turbo lift, you may be able to intercept them. Do it. Power has been restored. You may proceed to the turbo lift. Spockish. Enterprise, come in. <sighs> Scotty, check off, respond. You will have a difficult time communicating with your crew, Captain. When the Helios device is out of its containment zone, it causes a great deal of interference. <laughs> ah, perfect. Looks like it's just you and me, Spock. That seems to be the usual course. <laughs> Get behind the stack, Kevin. I was able to scan it for a second.
got something here. Scan's picking something up. No. Come on, truck. You know it's box job. Shields are fully constructed. Shields are back in Shields are fully constructed. Shields are back online. It's over there in that wall that's lighting up. No, not that. No, turn around. That wall. Over there with the bottles. Hazard. We need to find a way across without stepping in the water. Get wet and I get sad. Seems simple enough. Indeed. <laughs> I believe that water is now an electrical power. Find a way across. What? I didn't even hit the jump. I love that uh, contortionist thing. <laughs> Faster. Captain, you've reached another unpowered door. Look around. Can you see any power cells? 
Where are we going to find another power cell? Perhaps we can retrieve a power cell from a functional socket. Give me a boost. <laughs> Took you long enough. <laughs> Open. Let's get moving. All right, this is 